<clears throat> Do you hear that? Someone's sexting. I just got a sexting tingle. This is a completely brief history of sexting. The term is now in the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. It dates back to 2004 when it was used in a Canadian newspaper in the phrase sext messaging. It's not just political figures and athletes who sext. About 15% of US adults with phones have received a sexually suggestive nude or nearly nude photo or video of someone they know. About 6% admit to sending one. About 3% have forwarded one. Not cool, 3%. The medium is different now, but erotic communication is nothing new. Before this, we had phone sex, cyber sex, VHS by mail, and using calculators to write boobs. There's always been a risk that this stuff would get out to the entire world. U.S. Representative Mark Foley's 2005 IM conversation with a former page went public, in which they discussed the latter's sexual interest in plaster casts. In 1989, secret audio recordings caught Prince Charles telling Camilla Parker Bowles that he would like to be reincarnated as a tampon and live inside her trousers forever. Transcripts of that recording spread across the world via fax. Maybe if Charles had a smartphone, he would have been able to read about tampons and learn that he was effectively threatening to kill Camilla with toxic shock syndrome. Marie Curie exchanged love letters with a married colleague in which she encouraged him to leave his wife. When his wife found the letters, she released them to a Parisian newspaper. But the scandal didn't stop Curie from winning a second Nobel Prize. Oscar Wilde exchanged letters and telegrams with a much younger man. They were leaked and landed him on trial for indecency and sodomy. That ordeal gave us the phrase, the love that dare not speak its name. Napoleon famously sent love letters to Josephine, now widely published, that included lines like the salacious salutation, a kiss on your heart, and one much lower down. Much lower. Maybe he had a foot fetish. So sexting is about as old as civilization. Cleopatra delivering herself to Caesar rolled inside of a carpet could be considered the original selfie. But where does this all go from here? Well, Dan Savage has said that since smartphones are essentially pocket-sized porn production studios, in the future, most of us will have some kind of embarrassing sexual imagery immortalized on the internet. At which point, it won't be career-ending. It might not even be embarrassing at all. But by then, we'll have found new ways to embarrass ourselves.